Boston Dynamics Robot Atlas started fighting back and it looks like robots will soon take over humans. At least, it's inevitable at this point. But we don't know when that's going to happen. But what you can be sure of right now is the fact that robots will definitely replace humans for those lower level risky and repetitive jobs. And automation does come with its own positives and negatives. If you're looking at a humanoid robot, the most advanced one right now has to be the Boston Dynamics Atlas, and that's exactly what we discuss in this video. So you should definitely stick till the end of the video to know a lot more. But before we begin, you're watching Robot Future. So if you're into robotics and artificial intelligence, now's the time to be a part of this community by subscribing to our channel for more content just like this one and turn on post notifications so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads. With all that done, let's get started. CES 2022 was a huge event for electric cars and robots. Robotics did come a long way from performing basic human tasks to something even acting as pets, and right now you could have your own robot dogs if you have that kind of money. For most people, robotics is all about creating some fancy looking humanoid robots that just look exciting. Well, that's not the case because robots need to function along with humans to improve efficiency in factories, manufacturing processes, and other workplaces. Hyundai acquired Boston Dynamics for a whopping $1.1 billion way back in June 2021, and it's just been more than six months, and we're already going to see big things coming from Boston Dynamics because Hyundai has got huge investments in the research and development of cars and other technology which can be used by Boston Dynamics as well. Hyundai is a major player in the auto industry, so they definitely have the capital to invest in robotics as well. Hyundai showcased its own robotics technology based on the mobility of things, including a plug and drive module that happens to be an all-in-one solution with intelligent steering, braking, in-wheel electric drive, and suspension hardware all in a single wheel unit. According to Hyundai executives, after Hyundai acquired Boston Dynamics, we're getting the first collaboration project with Boston Dynamics which is expected to come by 2024. It looks like the South Korean auto giant is taking their goal of creating a better future for humans really seriously, as the company presented its vision for future mobility with robots, and not cars this time, which was surprising for all the automotive enthusiasts out there. But this was very exciting for all the people who are into robotics and artificial intelligence. The South Korean auto giant also hinted that the Boston Dynamics robot technology would be implemented into their future mobility platforms. Hyundai's ultimate goal with Boston Dynamics is definitely connecting robots in the physical world with the virtual reality metaverse, and that's about to change everything for robotics, artificial intelligence, and humanity in general. Boston Dynamics' Spot Robot, which happens to be a quadruped robot equipped with high-tech sensors, and the Spot Robot is something that you could find at Kia Motors' manufacturing facility for safety control. Boston Dynamics is also supplying Spot Robots to dozens of clients that are eager to adopt robots in their workplace to make everything autonomous. So now you know something about the current state of Hyundai and Boston Dynamics, but we're not here to talk about just what Boston Dynamics is all about. We want to talk more about the Robot Atlas, and it looks like the robot is clearly learning to fight back. You might have seen this parody video floating around on the internet where the robot is actually fighting back after a lot of abuse from the humans. Whenever we talk about robots, the first thing that would come to your mind would definitely be Boston Dynamics because the company has been working on several robots over the years which is exactly why Hyundai was interested in buying Boston Dynamics. Today, Boston Dynamics makes a variety of robots that can do things like a backflip to opening doors. Apparently, this parody video of Boston Dynamics called Boss Town Dynamics was floating around, which shows the robot fighting back, and the video did go viral. The video went viral not just because of how well the video was made, but a future somewhat similar to what was shown in the video could be a reality anytime soon. Boston Dynamics is definitely known for its flashy videos of robots doing impressive stuff, but the best one from Boston Dynamics definitely happens to be the Atlas, which happens to be a biped humanoid robot that has become very popular because of its unrivaled ability in jumping over obstacles, doing backflips, and more. Most of these videos by Boston Dynamics really go viral, and for the right reasons, the company also showed Atlas performing a successful parkour run. Boston Dynamics is definitely a for-profit organization and the company really wants to commercialize its technology and sell products. 
but Boston Dynamics is ultimately a research lab filled with a lot of engineers and scientists who want to push the limits of what science can do when it comes to robotics for the benefit of everybody. And this is something that is really difficult, which is also the reason why Boston Dynamics ownership changed several times in the past decade from Google to SoftBank to Hyundai. The company is also working on creating a successful business model. We already have a few commercial robots like Spot, which happens to be a multi-purpose robot dog, and Stretch, which happens to be a mobile robot arm that can move boxes. Both of these robots found so many applications in different industries, so much so that even Hyundai and Kia are using these robots in their manufacturing facility. Hyundai would definitely be able to provide all the necessary resources for Boston Dynamics to develop a successful business model. But the problem with a humanoid robot like Atlas is that they're not commercially useful yet. A humanoid robot that could just do everything like humans will have unlimited utility because humans have designed everything around us, including our homes, factory cities, and offices to accommodate the way we're physically built, and this will be one of the best business opportunities for Boston Dynamics. Most of the robots that we have today are built for specific uses and most of them cannot even climb stairs or do the things that humans would generally do. But with a humanoid robot, that problem will be solved. But at the same time, the major challenge for Boston Dynamics would definitely be creating the Atlas because creating bipedal humanoid robots is really difficult and even Atlas, being the most advanced bipedal robot out there, still has a lot more room for improvement to function just like how humans are. Maybe nature is a better designer and humans are still catching up. Humans and animals' growth and learning happen together, which means that when you learn to walk, jump, or run, your body will physically adapt to such changes. But that's not the case with robots because engineers have to do a lot of research and development to create a fully functional humanoid robot. These researchers and engineers also need to teach all the necessary skills for these robots to function efficiently. Just like every other field out there, even in robotics, engineers are clearly finding ways to not replicate nature in complete detail, but that's not possible. The reason why Atlas is able to do a lot of parkour is because of all the research and development that went into improving the bipedal motor skills of Atlas. Yes, we all know that a robot's ability to do a complete backflip is definitely not going to be useful in a commercial setting, but why Boston Dynamics is showing off such a skill is to show that Atlas will be able to perform something similar in a commercial setting with the same range of movements and physical tasks, just like humans. If Atlas could eventually respond to its surroundings just like humans do, then the potential applications of these humanoid robots is just going to be practically limitless. So it's not about actually fighting back or doing a backflip. Still, it's all about Atlas experimenting with new behaviors as parkour is a full body activity that requires Atlas to maintain its balance in so many different situations. Atlas will also need to switch between one behavior to another seamlessly, so you can see that the evolution of the Atlas robot was nothing short of being absolutely impressive, all the way from how the robot adjusts its balance, something that humans take for granted too much more. The Atlas is clearly a technological innovation when it comes to humanoid robots. Sure, Atlas may not be perfect, but soon, someday in the future, Atlas will really fight back just how the viral video showed us. Soon, someday, Atlas will be among us doing the kind of work that is generally too dangerous for humans. And that's a wrap for today's video. What do you think about the Boston Dynamics Atlas? Will Hyundai be able to change the face of robotics with Boston Dynamics with all the resources that they have? Do let us know by leaving a comment down below because we'd love to hear from you all. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more robotics and artificial intelligence related content just like this one and turn on post notifications so that you get notified whenever we upload a brand new video. That's about it for today. We hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and we'll meet again in the very next video, so stay tuned for more.